Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, is a country that borders India, Bangladesh, China, Laos, and Thailand. Inside lies fascinating history and traditional customs that are unique in its own way. To be honest, before this trip, I knew nothing about this place. For years, citizens of this country were oppressed by their government and any form of media was banned. You can't even use credit cards and Wi-Fi is almost unheard of. Tourism is almost non-existent. You really feel like you're in a new world when you meet the locals who work hard labor every day to provide for their family. When you try the local foods and explore the thousands of temples and sites that the country has to offer. It's a land that humbles you and it makes you appreciate life in another light. Joycelyn, Daniel, Kama, and I all come from different backgrounds and lifestyles, but we're joined together for 10 days to explore Myanmar and all it had to offer. We ate noodles nearly every day, walked through puddles of rain in Yangon, got massages, and even painted our faces in the traditional clay mask made of ground bark that Burmese people wear every day. Aside from wandering aimlessly, we saw hundreds and hundreds of temples. One morning, we woke up extra early for a boat ride at Inlay Lake for sunrise and visited the factories and villages. There was also a parade that celebrated the first day of the dry season. And like most other countries in Southeast Asia, the people work hard all day under the beating sun with their hands for so little money. It reminds us how much we truly take for granted here in the States. Even the kids wake up early in the morning to try and bring home money for their family. Not only is life hard for the locals, it's also hard on all the stray dogs that roam the streets scavenging for food. Visiting Myanmar wasn't just a vacation getaway, it was a look into the lives of Burmese people and a taste of the trials and tribulations that they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. In spite of how hard it is for them, they truly are the friendliest group of people I've ever met and are the first to offer us help when needed. This visit has changed my way of thinking and reminds me to never take what I have for granted. I had a life-changing time with these guys and I'll forever have these memories with me. Just come alone himself. <laughs> what? I've been staring at the edge of the water. We're underwater, actually. <laughs> We're in a submarine. We're in space on Pluto. Underwater in space on Pluto. <laughs> you sound really smart. Pluto has yeah. water. Yeah. 